Almost forgot to catch this quick little video and show you guys how this is finished out here. <clears throat> it is, well, other than this little bit you see hanging from where I just drilled, um, our buildup did pretty well. I think it looks all right. Uh, maybe a few hairs still hanging back in the back there. Um, but realistically, here, I'll just hit that with the grinder one more time or the sander one more time and knock those down. Um, but the patch did did really well, filled in nice. Um, added a little bit of uh, uh, um, thickened epoxy as well to help to help even fill it in some more, and it's going to work just fine. I just needed to build it up a little bit for catching that screw so it actually held the panel well. So that's what it is. See you soon. Hello from Scallywag on a blustery Pacific Northwest day. Just want to take a second to discuss the whole Princess and a Peak comment I've read more than once about noticing the hatch underneath the cushions. This is the standard cushion for a 20, well, my 22 foot Sea Dory back in 2008. I'm not sure whether they're still the same, but this is what came with my boat. Uh, take my word for it or not, laying on here is those are completely unnoticeable you, you cannot you cannot tell they're underneath there you cannot feel them a bit um so i have i have zero issues with uh having that little bit maybe i don't know a third of a third of an inch sticking up um it, it's just too much surface area this thing works fine uh future plans though i i want to get rid of this full-size cushion it's a pain to drag in and out of here um i'd like to cut it right around this area to make it a three piece. Um, that, and you know, I can access this hatch okay, this hatch okay if I folded it up, but the front one's just gonna be a nightmare. So three piece cushion I think is kind of a must when you're, when you're swapping over to this stuff. But anyhow, I hope everyone is having a wonderful weekend and it's time for me to get back to work. So enjoy.